Hi, my name is Patrick and I battle with MS every day. I also deal with schizophrenia that I have. <laughs> okay, so I was diagnosed with MS and schizophrenia in early 2000s. And I've been dealing with that ever since. You know, so it's it's tough, you know, but I, I try not to let it get me down at all. There is times that where you get down, but you, it's up to you yourself to pick yourself back up. That's what I've learned. Definitely felt rejected. Felt like the whole world was against me for a long time, Cause just because they didn't know how to associate with me or anything, or didn't even take a chance or, you know, I don't know. It was just all confusing. Very, it was, it was very confusing, but I just solved, I kind of solved the problem for myself because I wanted to, I needed to, because I couldn't take, I couldn't do it. it. Just would drive me, it drove me nuts. It really did. Maybe just very rageful, just, but you know, it's almost like, you f I found, you know, when people care and you feel that people care, it goes, it goes a mile, it goes a million miles, you know, within like it, it kind of, it just, it's something that helps. Okay. Uh, schizophrenia. The first time I experienced, which I thought something was going on. I didn't, I didn't know though. I had no idea. It was when I was younger and I was growing up and like I would be sleeping and I'd be just waking up and I would hear voices in my head. And then it only got worse over time. I mean, it got better before it got worse, but it's like, you know, you just hear something in your head and it, it's 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 just very confusing. It's very uh, it's hard to deal with. I mean, it just is. I was uh, very angry, you know, because I didn't know how to solve the problem. And but the medicines, you know, the medicines work. The medicines do work, but you have to be on the right medicine, and it could take years. Everybody's different, so you know, it could take years to solve your problem. But the medicines do work. It's extremely possible for a person with MS to do like to ride a bike or even play basketball or kick a ball around the yard or, you know, you can do normal things, but it's almost like, you know, if you have MS, you have to like push your, you have to push yourself to do things even harder than, I don't know. I always felt it was, you had to do it. You had to work harder than just a regular person. You know, it's like you have to try harder. You have to just because your body needs exercise, like your muscles need something like more than. I mean, I'm not saying that everybody is not the same, but with MS, you know, it's the nervous system and 
you know, everybody has a nervous system. I'm, I don't know what I'm really trying to say. <laughs> but yes, anybody can ride a bike, even with MS. Despite everything that's been going on with me, I do have, I have two sons. You know, I'm not married anymore, you know, so that's kind of a touch subject, like, but it was for the best, you know, we kind of split up from each other and like, you know, just so I could maybe, but I was thankful in a way because I could try and solve the issues with myself. And I kind of tried to keep hope for one day, maybe things will get back normal. And, and uh, but yeah, I have two sons that I wouldn't change for the world. They're the best kids I know in the world, <laughs> you know? So yes, it's possible. You can, all you gotta do is find, find that goodness within you to like sh express to them, show them that you care. Caring is definitely key. You know, just show natural ability to care and love. It's not that hard, but you know, for someone with with struggling with this kind of stuff, it is. It's difficult. You know, it's almost like it's not even possible. But I've I've a, I have a family. You know, I mean, I created a family. <laughs> I'm a dad. <laughs> Anybody who has this, what I have. Okay, so support of your family, you know, is definitely very important. It's key, you know, I feel. It's, it's definitely, it solves, like, you have help where you feel you may never have help ever. So I've been through that, but my family has been very supportive. They've been very helpful and yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. Without them, I probably would be homeless too.